Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to add new games to our Pandora Box 10th anniversary. Which games can be added? And how far can we push the system? Welcome to Team Pandori. I am John Luke Subscribble. So the Pandora Box 10th is quite capable. But checking through the manual, there's no sign of how to add games. You'll need a USB memory stick or a micro SD card with a USB reader. Something like this will do fine. First, we'll need to format it using a PC. We'll be using Rufus here. Select the card we've inserted. Non-bootable. MBR. We can name anything we like. I'm going to call it Pandora. Most important thing here is file system. We recommend XFAT, but if you can't choose this, FAT32 should be fine. Click start, then wait till the process is complete. The time. Once done, eject safely. Remove the USB stick, then insert it into a Pandora box that's on the game menu. Wait for 5 seconds, and take it out, and pop it back into your PC. If you get an error like this, scan and fix, then repair drive. Now if you check the contents of the drive, many folders have been created. Go into Game, ROMs User, and we need to copy our ROMs into these folders. The systems we have here are Atari 2600, 7800, Atari Lynx, Dreamcast Gun Games, Dreamcast Naomi and Atomus Wave, FBA, which probably needs a last ROM set before it switched to FB Neo, slightly older FBA 2012, which might be slightly quicker than the former, Famicom and NES games, Game Boy, Game Boy Color, Game Boy Advance. Then we've got the main sets. First one's 2003, and 2003 Plus uses the same set with quality of life improvements. Maybe 2010, more games supported, many fixes, but may run slower than 2003. Mega Drive Genesis, MSX2, N64, NDS, PGM2, which is a bit odd, it might be FB Neo. We have PlayStation, PlayStation for light gun games, PlayStation Portable, lastly Super Famicom, also known as Super Nintendo. So now we can copy in game ROMs to the folders. Some systems like Neo Geo and Atomus Wave may need additional BIOS files. For an idea what you need, please check the Libretro website. You can also see file types here. Please note, do not use capital letters, or your Pandora box will ignore them. Same goes for any special characters such as hyphens and apostrophes. Once everything's copied over, safely eject, insert it into your box, and check for the added games at the end of the list. Let's check them out. First thing to note, we have a track mode. Teenage Mutant Hero Turtles. April is a babe. If we copy over the UniBIOS, we can use it to change region and also flip the dips on our Neo Geo games. And vertical games run in tape mode. Perfect! And if we don't like the screen stretched, or three. Here's the dumb patch. We tried the arcade version of Tekken 3, and uh, no. If you want to play this game, it's probably better off getting a mini PC. And the same goes for Killer Instinct. This game doesn't even load. Rhythm Tengoku on the Game Boy Advance. The fast ROM of rock and roll racing. Star Fox X. Rockman X5. Battle Arena Toshinden 2. Outrun 2006.
As expected, God of War Chains of Olympus runs like ass, and as we have no possible config screen, we can't fix any games that have issues. Here's Dolphin Blue. The King of Fighters New Wave. And Neo Geo Battle Coliseum. It's one of the most difficult games to emulate on the system, but you see the Pandora Box struggle. Is Metal Slug 6. Dreamcast port of the same game. Even without instructions, we hope this video guide has helped you add your games. In the future, 3 have planned online updates to fix issues and maybe add some more features. But until then, we hope you can enjoy your box. This has been Amy Chicken of Team Pandory, and I'll catch you on the next one. Ta-ra!